Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, I want to thank everybody that has noted and told me that uh, the um, Windows 10 download page has updated its image of Windows 10. So this is uh, cool and great news. So I want to actually share the page once again if you want to download the image of Windows 10. It's a question I get asked all the time. Where can I download Windows 10? And people think you have to go to these weird websites or that you go to torrents or... No, Windows 10 is available on their own page uh, for downloading. You just go to this page. I'll share it in the description below the video. And uh, you will get the Windows 10 May 2020 update. Now, it's not free. If you don't have a license key, it will give you a watermark. It will give you... Uh, it would tell you that you're not activated. Uh, and you won't be able to change some of the settings and tweak some of the of the options in Windows 10. Uh, but you can download it for free and you can actually try it, which is nice. You can, I think, believe you have 30 days that you can actually play around with Windows 10 before it starts uh, telling you that uh, it's not activated. So the update now brings you to the May 2020 update. And it brings you to the May 2020 update that is the latest update that we have right now, which is 1904.1.450. So if you want to have a uh, update that is um, available with the latest uh, security and bug fixes, it's uh, in here. Um, one of the reasons why probably this happened, because they don't very often or they don't usually upgrade the images and I think one of the reasons why is probably because of the blocking bugs a lot of people that had some of the problems that were plaguing their systems by upgrading to the latest build they you know all the bugs that are fixed means that that lowers the chances of somebody forcing Windows 10 on their system and uh, you know getting a problem so to get the uh, media creation tool, you just go here to download tool. When you download the tool and then you run it, you'll be able to actually get the image. So you run the tool and that tool will give you the possibility of getting the um, Windows 10 image. You can get it in different versions because it will offer you Windows 10 image on the same version that you already have by default. But if you want it in a different language and a different, uh, you know, 32 or 64 bits or so on, you can actually choose that. You will have to remove a little check mark that is in there to uh, kind of choose the version you want. So by using the media creation tool, you'll be able to download the image of Windows 10 May 2020 update at uh, version 19041.450. Of course, you got to accept terms and conditions. And once you do that, the uh, version that you will have, you will simply choose. And it's worth it if you have downloaded the first image of the May 2020 update. It's actually worth it to download maybe the new image to replace it so that you have an image that has uh, already some of the bug fixes and, and, and security updates. It will take less time when you actually install. So what you do is you choose Create Installation Media. Next. Here, by default, is the one you have. But if you want to have another one, you just remove the check mark. Choose the edition you want. Country, what edition, Pro, or Windows 10 here is, uh, is, is all in the same package. And 64, 32, or even both, uh, depending on what you want. Then you click Next. And then you choose ISO file. Click Next. It will actually have a little dialog box. Simply, you know, you can call it Windows 10 um, Build 450, for example, to tell you that it has the uh, 19041.450 and so on. And it's going to save to your hard drive, and you'll have the latest version of Windows 10. So I'll uh, share the link in the description below the video. The uh, image has been updated for those that want the May 2020 updates latest version today august the 24th 2020 enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching